Greetings YouTubers, this is Jace from Marshall Made Collectibles. Uh, today we're going to do a little something different. Uh, in my little home office that I have down in the basement of my house, I've been running on an old uh, Dell 310. It's about 11 years old. And uh, it was a good system for when I got it, but uh, as age has progressed, when I'm sitting here trying to do like, I don't know, 10, 15 mailing labels or trying to do stuff for my little business, uh, it just was bogged down. It was way too slow. Uh, so I was going ahead and looking for some sort of desktop. I've got a laptop. Uh, uh, Jeannie's got a laptop and the boys have one that they share and play with. But I needed something just basically down here for for my office and something cheap and expensive but it had a decent uh, hard drive. So what we're looking at here is a Gateway ZX4270. Uh, it has a 500 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, other than that, I really can't tell you too much about it because I basically went and looked for the cheapest new system that was out there and Best Buy had it. And this was only $350 with uh, free shipping. And it was 400 and something or whatever before the discount or whatever they were clearancing them out. I think this is, might be even last year's model. So let's go ahead and open this up. This is a true unboxing because it just came in. And let's see what we have in the box. The box is just plain, there's no picture of it. And this is one of those all-in-one systems. Uh, uh, well, another one I was looking the reason I was looking for. I didn't want to have to deal with a tower again or anything like that. So everything basically is in the monitor. The like the like the hard drive, the disk drive, everything. Alright, first thing it popped out is we've got step guide comes pre-packaged with Windows 8. Alright, looks like it's going to be pretty much easy to set it up. It's just kind of like plug and play. Looks like they took a took a note from uh, the way Apple computers used to be. We got a power cord adapter there. And the mouse. Another power cord. Keyboard. This is the all-in-one monitor. Okay, let's go ahead and put this down. And go ahead and hold that up as we take this off. I even changed out my computer desk. I used to have a talk about uh, do it yourself. I had an actual old door that I had converted into a computer desk. I, w I needed something smaller, so I got a little uh, one from Walmart, a mainstay. That's a decent size screen. Okay, it's got webcam, front facing speakers, Bluetooth, uh, AMD, A4, quad. Don't have a clue what the hell that means. Turn this around so you can see the back of it. Looks like it's a matte finish on the screen to keep it from having a glare. Four USB connections right there. Uh, two more on the side and a scan card reader. Ethernet connection, headphone connection, and I am not sure what that one is. Uh, that's this where your disk drive is. All right, so let's take a look at the keyboard real quick. Pretty standard fare. It's got a USB connection on it. Nice. Just a plain keyboard. Put that on our shelf up underneath. 
and give me a couple seconds and we'll go ahead and plug this up we'll hook it up to the internet I've got two different printers I'm going to be running off of this. One's a Dell 1100 that I use for all my printing labels and everything like that. It's a laser jet printer. Uh, love that thing. I've had it forever. Works like a champ. And I have a Canon uh, uh, Prixma printer. That's uh, my scanner, copier, uh, fax machine. It's what I do my work, my nursing job. That's how I do all my paperwork and send it into my job. So. Uh, like I said, just give me a couple seconds we'll hook this all up and I'll give you a quick review or roundup. Okay everybody, I've got uh, the gateway set up and so far I can tell you I'm, I'm very happy with it. Um, the only thing I'm not really enthralled with is I am not a huge Windows 8 type person. I liked Windows 7. It worked well for me. Uh, in fact, I had Windows 8 on my new Toshiba laptop when I got it, and I actually removed it and put Windows 7 on. So I don't know how long I will keep this on. I know a lot of people like the live tiles, and I imagine if it was a touchscreen, it would be great. But this is not a touchscreen. This is just a regular desktop. Um, really quick, I uh, went ahead and set up a bunch of things. It was uh, really easy to do. Windows 8 will not accept my Dell uh, 1100 laser uh, um, printer because they don't have a driver for it yet. So might be another reason why I go ahead and downgrade. Um, like I said, uh, extremely quick, great for a desktop. It does have a 500 gigabyte hard drive. Um, like I said, the disk drive is on the side and you just put in your disk or, or whatever you're working on right there. Um, it's got the four uh, USB inputs on the back. The two on the side are like uh, for upgraded USB um, screen and everything like that. Resolution, it's HD picture, it's Bluetooth enabled, it's Wi-Fi enabled. In fact, uh, I had to let it know that I was having it hardwired through my router instead of going through my wireless router just because I'd rather it be hardwired. It's a little quicker. Um, it does have front facing speakers in the front and uh, it has the webcam built in which to me is no big deal I don't do any web chats anybody that's watching this video um, I always get asked questions after I do one of these including like I did when I did the laptop I always get is this good for gaming is it this for gaming I can't answer that I just don't know because I don't game on my computers if I'm gonna game I game on like an Xbox or a PlayStation I, I don't my computers are always been basically for work so uh, I couldn't tell you uh, I, if you want to ask me how it is for like editing pictures or videos or stuff like that that I could probably tell you it does have a card reader in the side for like your scan disk cards which is great because that's a lot of times how I download my files for uh, work. Um, it did pick up the new Canon wireless printer like uh, quickly. In fact, it even put a utility in here. A lot of the tiles that you're seeing right now, I've edited it heavily. There was a, a whole boatload that were on here, but I took a bunch of them off because I don't I don't need all that. I don't do a lot of networking. I don't do a lot of that. I just want to know like my weather, the sports, the news. I want to be able to get on uh, the like the regular desktop and go to places which I added the Google Chrome and everything like that it, um, but the, it's it's got a huge amount of memory it does come with Norton internet security for I think like 90 days if I'm not mistaken and just to give you a quick uh, rundown like what I did when I did the Toshiba laptop I will do a real quick um, video uh, and it's the wildlife video through Microsoft which they own so they can't get uh, get too ticked about it and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and up the volume and I've got the volume at a hundred and you can control all this from the keyboard which is really nice so we'll go ahead and put this on and it will give you a, a little image just to give you an idea of the speaker quality
click that again. It got blurry for a second because I zoomed in. That was not the the computer. That was me. So like I said, it's an excellent setup. If you're looking for something inexpensive, even like a kid's computer, a student computer, you have a student that's gone away to school, uh, I know everybody's wanting a tablet now or they're wanting something that's touch screen. Uh, this screen is like 19 and a half inches across, so it's like a huge viewing area. Uh, it's perfect for what I do, and it's just going to be used for my office, but um, you can't go wrong for like 350 with free shipping. And I did get this through Best Buy, and again, this is uh, one of the gateway all-in-ones. So um, thank you for watching. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, feel free to, to like, add me to your subscription, or comment. All right, take care and have a nice day. Okay, quick side note. I just wanted to add this real quick. It was not the computer's fault that it was not printing from the Dell or 1100. It was me. I was able to find the print driver. Actually, the computer had seeked it out and fixed it. Whatever Windows 8 does, it's got some hocus pocus shit going on. Anyway, I just went ahead and tried to print a page and the Dell 1100 came up. I looked under the devices and it showed up there. So. Uh, maybe I was a little quick to bash it about that, so I apologize, but it does. It, it, it will print from the uh, Dell 1100 as well as my Canon now. So both printers are hooked up. Everything is working flawlessly. The only glitch that seemed to happen or the only problem was uh, me. So now that that's fixed, uh, everything else is great. So thank you for watching. Be sure to comment. You can uh, subscribe, and if you have any questions, be free for to ask. Like I said, unless it's about game stuff, if it's gaming, I, I really can't help you. Anyway, thank you very much and have a great day.